so hello YouTube and uh, welcome back to my channel today I want to talk about all the accessories I added to my 2021 Honda Africa Twin CRF 1100 so yeah I'm going to work from front to back so that gives you an idea of what the course is gonna be of this video so first of all let's start with the front part up down so first the higher windscreen like I mentioned in my first impression video so the Honda Africa to the standard it has the lower windscreen and that means less wind protection so that's the reason why I got the higher windscreen for this one and it's the Honda OEM windscreen so yeah because <laughs> Honda could get that for me so that's why I got it also I have the handguard extensions just for a little more uh, wind protection on the hands so a little lower over here we have the visor kit as it is called and that's just for a little more wind protection over here as you can see from this angle you can see here a little gap normally the wind will flow over here and then maybe hit your body a little or your arms and that that's what this prevents so that's the visor kit and that's also on this side as you can see so again a little lower just for the frontal part for the front um, I'm going to skip the crash guards for now and just go to the as you can see over there the radiator guards for that little more protection of the radiator because I don't want my radiator to get hit by a rock or whatever and then have damage to it and have need to have it repaired or something like that so that's why I have the radiator guards and that's it for the front part so now I'm going to <laughs> talk about the crash guards so these crash bars the upper and the lower or the normal crash bars are from as you can see right here Outback Motor Tech a really great company why did I get these well because Outback Motor Tech has tested their own um, crash guards by just putting it on a motorcycle and dropping it and then seeing what they need to improve or whether it's good enough so that means that they are really confident about the product and that's really great so that's what why I got the Outback Motor Tech because I got a complete package from Outback Motor Tech I also have over here the skid plate for a little protection for when I'm going to do off-road riding just a little protection to make sure that nothing gets damaged or if something gets damaged it's the skid plate so then we are going to this part this is a deflector it's also on the other side of the motorcycle and this is just for a little more wind protection for your legs so that's why I got that so as you can see right here I also have a center stand it's the OEM one I got that because well why not it's easier to do maintenance that way to the chain it's also easier sometimes to park the motorcycle that way but yeah over here I can't put it on the center stand because if I do that well the the garage is not that leveled so uh, the motorcycle will be tilted a little to the right and I don't like that so that's why I put it on a side stand so now we are going to the back part first of all as you can see I have Pioneer carriers also from Outback Motor Tech it was a complete package the ultimate adventure combo I think it's called put it on screen right here um, I got that and I got this one because I can mount anything on here like toolboxes or whatever and not on this side but on the other side because over here of course you have the exhaust but if you can see right here over here I could put a toolbox or a fuel can or something like that and yeah it's not in the way it's not on here it's just there and makes the uh, motorcycle a little less top heavy that way and also I can put a toolbox and just forget about it and then the last part I added to the motorcycle is the rear carrier I got that from Honda itself because only this carrier provides you with the bolts to put the Outback Motortech Pioneer carrier on so or Pioneer rack as it's called so that's why I got this one it was expensive like I mentioned in my first impression video but yeah 
it's just it also makes the motorcycle complete and that's what I wanted so yeah that's it for all the accessories I put on the motorcycle I'll put a list over here I'll also put the list in the description if you have any questions just leave that in the comment section so yeah that's it for my video I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time